Welcome to the Brooks Career and Technology Center. Every year, hundreds of students come to learn skills that will prepare them for a competitive workforce. To get students ready, BCTC employs faculty that are very skilled and knowledgeable in a wide variety of industries. So you're thinking about joining the team at BCTC. Well, this video will help give you some insight into what it takes to become a teacher at BCTC. From the rewards to the challenges and everything in between, no two days are ever the same. You'll be hearing from a number of new and veteran teachers as they share the experiences of teaching at BCTC. So let's start from the beginning. How do most teachers start off their day? My school day, well, first it starts with a big cup of coffee. And then um, when I get here, I get my agenda on the board. Um, any paperwork I have to do, I gather up. Um, I like to put music on. It's just a nice work environment. And I try to be ready so that I can greet every student when they walk in the door. As students start coming in, because they come at different times, I make sure that I have all the information that they need on my whiteboard in my classroom. And I try to draw their attention to that. We take attendance. We pledge the flag, and then um, we pretty much will start. For the most part, we have a routine where, as the students are coming in, we start to explain them what their uh, what, what their expectations are for the day, what the objectives are, um, and each student then will begin work. For us, we use Schoology uh, a pretty hefty amount, so it gives them the students the ability of autonomy to work through the process and start to um, kind of begin their research of the day. But regardless of how much you prepare, everything comes with challenges. Here are some of the challenges teachers face. The most challenging part of my school day is having those hiccups that come along that you haven't planned for and just trying to figure out a way to make it work so everyone gets done what needs to get done. Keep the students motivated. They might have, they might have a bad day, might be off task, keeping them, keeping their attention sometimes most importantly deliver good instruction while the students are here um, and I have to make sure that everyone's getting feedback in the form of evaluation and grading. Another challenging aspect is uh, understanding that you may have to teach something two or three different ways to ensure that the students are getting the information. You know, we all learn in different ways. Some of us learn better by, by seeing a demonstration, others through lecture. So it's really a combination of being able to ensure that you are teaching multiple ways so your students are getting the information the way they need to. It's just trying to manage and maintain um, all the different levels and all the different classes. Usually it's toward the end of the session where students are changing in and out of uniform, where they are um, trying to get things together to go back to their home school. Usually that's a little bit more chaotic than the rest of the day is. Um, because you've got to make sure that they're leaving to go to their bus on time or to lunch on time. So there's a lot of schools coming and going and just gets a little bit more hectic right at the end of any session. If you haven't guessed yet, teaching at BCTC is a little different than what you would expect teaching at your normal high school. Our programs are very hands-on, which requires teachers to take a different approach in how they help their students achieve their goals. I love it. Uh, it takes the theory into a whole new level when the students in here, they run their own company. So seeing them really dive deeper into marketing concepts and economics and finance concepts that we talk about in theory, they have to put it to practice with their business. So I feel like it makes it very real world for them. Some students who have a real good understanding and have experience doing the hands-on, so they might be light years ahead of a student who maybe never saw the tools or, or saw the equipment that you're going to work on. So the challenge is trying to make sure that everybody has the uh, kind of capacity and the tools to be able to work from beginning to end. So you might have a novice, you might have an expert, and dealing with all levels in between um, presents a lot of challenge. A lot of the students that enter my program, I would say most of them are hands-on learners. So it lends itself very well to the content that I'm teaching. And it helps these students to get out of their chair, to move around, to use their dexterity, and through those manipulative skills, they can really um, latch into their, their type of learning. It's the best. I mean, we most of the teachers here came out of industry, and it's what they love to do. So it's just kind of teaching our field of work. And 
the best way to teach how to do something is by actually doing it. The things that they learn here, they can apply right away as they leave, the, as they leave BCTC. They get hands-on, repetitive uh, training. That is much more exciting than just sitting at a desk all day. So the students are up, they're moving around, um, they're getting to experience real life, real work situations, rather than just sitting in a classroom um, and waiting for the bell to ring. A lot of times I'll have students say they enjoy being here at BCTC more so than they do back at their home school because they are up and moving around and getting to actually practice what they're learning in theory. So we've heard about some of the challenges and teachings at a career center, but what makes this such a rewarding career? Well, I'm glad you asked. The students, absolutely the students. I love my students. They choose to be here, so their engagement and learning is a lot higher. It makes me motivated as a teacher. I'm reaching out and making a difference in a student's life, making a difference in, in, the, in the classroom's life. But at the same time, I'm also doing something that I'm really, I really enjoy, which is you know, designing, building, engineering. Um, so for me, it's a kind of hitting two passions. Um, again, students and, and, and content. I really enjoy the fact that we can work with a lot of state-of-the-art equipment, and um, I can help prepare people for a successful career. Motivating students, um, seeing them get excited about their chosen field of study. Just the students, I mean they're so cool, they come from so many different environments and seeing the students from 16 different sending schools come together and really interact and form these friendships is a really neat thing to see. Um, the other really great part about working here is the, our co-workers, it really, we call it our BCTC family and it's true. Um, everyone's really supportive of one another and really make sure that everyone is thriving and being the best that they can be. Here, the teachers at BCTC get to know their students. Um, we get to see them start out in 10th grade where they're not knowing a whole lot about the program and then by the time they're seniors they're very confident, they're independent workers and you get to see them go out into the world of work or to secondary education and they're succeeding and you sort of got to see them um, grow and prosper for the whole three years that they've been here. Still interested? Sound like a good career path for you? Well, our teachers are full of advice. Let's hear their advice on what it takes. You're not going to do everything perfectly right out of the gate. Um, the most important thing is that you try to focus on one or two tasks and do them very well. And then once you understand how to do those things very well, take some more steps and kind of broaden your, your scope and your, your abilities. Um, if you try to do everything perfectly the first time, it's going to be overwhelming. Um, and it's going to be frustrating and the last thing you want to do is get frustrating because there's so many things that happen in the course of a day that need your attention and need that focus that if you're spread too thin you kind of become, start to become ineffective. My advice for any teacher coming in to work at BCTC would be to make sure you have a passion for uh, working with young people and, and teaching them. Uh, obviously you're coming from the industry, you are an expert in your field, you have a wealth of knowledge and it's, it's important to be able to convey that information to the students in, in a meaningful and engaging way. Have a sense of humor, understand that everything's not going to go the way that you want it to in your mind, but that's okay. You're learning along with your students. Reach out to your peers. Um, there's a lot of people that will be around you that have a lot of experience. They've dealt with the things that you deal with, and it's important that you let them know that you can use their help and a lot of times they will be more than happy to help you. Be willing to roll with the punches and everything that comes at you and know that it's going to be extremely rewarding. Be patient with yourself, especially new teachers. Um, take, take one day at a time as it comes. Meet your students wherever they are and have fun. Remember why you're here for your students. So there you have it, a little insight of the day in the life of teaching at BCTC. We hope this video showed you how rewarding a career can be. Good luck and we hope to see you around the halls in BCTC.